Hello, today I am assembling a teapot that I threw two days ago. First I'm going to attach the spout. This is my lovely hole punch tool that I probably should wash off. First I'm adding a hole so I know exactly where to put my spout. The spout was thrown on the wheel and then cut to an angle and then I just pinched around it to flatten out that bottom edge to have more to adhere to and so it can be a smoother connection. Here I am scoring my, with my scoring rib. It's got a serrated edge to it so it can scratch the pot and the, and the spout so that way they can adhere to each other better. Then I add some slip, which is just clay with, in this case, vinegar. I know some people use water, some people use straight vinegar. There's different ways to do it, but this is what I do. I do just clay that's been dried out with some vinegar, and it works pretty well. And then I am pushing from the inside and outside to give that a nice firm connection on the spout so it doesn't crack and it doesn't just fall off when I'm pouring tea. Trying to do as smooth of a connection as I can so that it looks pretty seamless. It's hard to get it 100% seamless, but... I do my best. Just trying to get that as smooth as possible so it's well adhered and also looks good. Also trying to smooth out the inside so that it's good from all angles. It is a slightly tedious process, but it is worth it in the end when things look really great. So I threw the main body of the teapot on the wheel, and the spout and the lid on the wheel. And then for the handles, I have a little handle extruder. It's um, not in the frame, but it just is like a little loop tool I pull through the clay that makes these neat little handles. So here I'm also making sure the inside's good. I cut the hole a little bigger on the inside since that was my biggest hole punch tool, but the spout was a little wider than that and I'd like it to be as uniform as possible. And then I'm also attaching the handles. This one, because it's pretty s squat, I decided to do an over-the-top handle, which I ordered on Amazon. And it's not actually here yet, so I was kind of guessing on measurements. And if it doesn't work, then I will figure out something else. But an over-the-top handle is the plan. Here I'm scoring and slipping. Again, my thoughts on the handle were that if I had a handle at the back, that it would just be a whole lot of weight in front of that because it's so short and fat. And that's good. That's the kind of pots I tend to like. I find I like really more bulbous round pots. I think they're a cool shape. I like them. So that's what I... What I tend to make is fat things, or curved things, because that's what I like to look at. So here I'm trying to make the handles look as seamless as possible as well. So they're well adhered and also they look good.
And about this point I realized that I'm not going to get it smooth enough, so I did come back with a sponge later. But uh, I got it pretty good. So then I was moving on to the back handle part. So a metal handle will come loop through those and over the top to the other one. Which I think will look cool. I haven't really made one like that before, so always good to try new things. Just scoring the handle part and the body of the pot again. And here's some more slip. The slip's dried out a couple times. So it's a little on the chunky side. Just keep adding more vinegar. And that's okay. It still works great. But there are occasional chunks. I did this in the evening, so there's some kind of long shadows as my studio faces west. Just trying to make that as seamless as possible again. Smooth it out as much as I can. You can see the lid there in the background with the really round knob. Again, my love of fat round pottery coming through there. I also loved love carved pottery, so I did carve this one later. That will be in another video posted shortly. Here I am with the sponge, as mentioned previously. Just trying to get that smooth enough with just my fingers was not going to work out. I love this sponge. It's from Mud Tools, and I use it for throwing, and I use it after I carve to smooth things out, and I use it a lot of times after I put handles on as well. Very, very handy sponge. So the hope is with that spout angle that it won't be super drippy. Hopefully that will be good. I have not made a whole lot of teapots, so I may need to experiment more in the future. I carved the bottom of the lid for some fun, and a little surprise if you open the lid. And there's showing where the handle will be over the top. And there's the whole teapot all ready to go, all ready to be carved. Thanks for watching!